So here we are, the start of Power Lines track in Brindabella. I've seen only a handful of videos of this, and I don't, I can't say I've seen people start from here. So I don't know what it's actually like if it's pretty wild from here. There's a there's a, another track you can get in halfway up. Um, you just go back up the road and you can get in. But I'm gonna nose up this, have a look and see what it's like. And if it's pretty wild, I'll get down and I'll show you what it looks like just so we know. But if it's drivable, then I'll drive it. It's just um, reasonably steep, that's all. This is where we jumped onto the track to begin with. I got out and had a little walk to have a look at it and on the day I wasn't feeling too confident about doing it. I didn't walk all of the track but I'm going to go back and check the rest out. So what we did, we headed up the road and jumped on at this next little section here as you can see circled, headed down that way. So we've just come down the little entry sort of pinch. It's nothing crazy, there's a couple of little washouts, you just gotta pick your line. It's not really hard, even if you did fall into them, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. And then we're about to start heading back up from here. I don't believe it's a very long track. I think there's a few ruts. I've only seen a couple of little videos, a couple handfuls, a few little ruts. It's more rocky and shaly and just steep. And then I believe there's one sort of undercut rock right at the top, or pretty close to the top anyway. So far she's just bumpy and steep, rocks but nothing massive, as long as you stay on your throttle you'll be right. Just jumping out to have a look at this little part. I made a bit of a rookie mistake here, stopped in the worst spot possible, and it was lifting a pretty big wheel on this section, so I opted for the winch just because it was easier. The hill is so much steeper than it seems on camera. As you can see, rear locker would have really done me good in this situation. You can also see how loose and how big these rocks actually are of this surface. You'll see one spat out just here, it's a pretty big rock. That's how loose the whole hill is. Being steep, it makes it for a tough, nice little drive. the camera had to die right at the top of the hill. We ended up going with the winch in this situation. Being solo, we didn't want to break nothing, we didn't want to push the car too hard. We might go back and try this hill again when we're twin locked.
awesome. That's pretty much the track done. It's not long, it's probably K and a half, 2Ks long. It's just really, really steep, like gnarly steep, which seems to be all the tracks in um in um Canberra to be honest, or the Brinda Bellas. And then this rock step's pretty much the only challenge. And what happens, I don't know if you can you seen on the video, you probably would have. Your rear gets jammed between a big rock and a little one. I tried high line and then it sort of flexed out, and because I don't my rear locker's not working at the moment, I had no drive in the rear, which really would have helped. But um I don't know if I still would have drove it anyway. Oh maybe. One day we'll have to try again. We'll just come down once my rear locker's working. You gotta stick that high line, keep clear on that. Climb that front, climb easy. If your rear locker's there to help push you, you might get your front up. It's just super shaly. All the little rocks, and they just, as soon as you start spinning, it just starts kicking rocks out. Get a good view on this. So that rock there, your tire, as you can see, it's cut out from where people have been sitting, just spinning their wheel. And then you get jammed on this big fella, which makes it a little hard. And then by the time you're here, your fronts are up here. You got a wall there which is trying to climb and that one there is not too bad. That's why a twin locked would be working, work the best here. I think I might have done me guard on that big rock on the way up. I have to have a look at it, it didn't sound pretty. I sort of let myself come back down when I heard it crunch a little bit. And then yeah, it's still steps on the way up. And as cameras do, they never do it justice. So yeah, anyway, that'll be the end of this video, I think unless we find something else we want to do, but I think this will be the end. So as I said, I did do my guard. Not really, it's just pulled out really. I think I've actually hit the bull bar up. Yeah, I've, I've twisted this whole panel of bull bar here. From about here, it's twisted up. You can see it in the top. It's all ripply and wavy. So yeah, that's going to be one to fix. We'll have to get the um, old sledgehammer out on that one, hopefully, bring it back. If you enjoyed the video, remember, like, comment, subscribe, because the more you support me, the more I can bring these videos out. And I hope you're enjoying the content. Thank you, thank you for watching.